Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering our picks for the top 10 best tips and tricks within Microsoft Word. Now before we get started, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links listed in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're using Word on the Mac today. If you're on Windows, some of the menu items are gonna be in slightly different locations. If I notice anything that might be different on Windows, I'll point it out. But anyways, let's begin. All right, so we're in Microsoft Word. I'm just gonna start without a document open. And the first tip that we have for you guys is dark mode. So you can enable dark mode with the newer versions of Word. On Mac, it's gonna be within the preferences here. And on Windows, it's just gonna be in the file, the main file tab, and it'll be within your account settings. So we'll pull up our preferences. So for me, I currently have dark mode on with a white page color and I'm feeling like I wanna switch it up. So I'll leave off dark mode for now, but that is our first tip for you guys. Now, moving on to tip number two, Word actually has the ability to convert PDF documents into Word documents where you can actually change the text. So if you're familiar with PDFs, you'll know that you can't directly edit the text from them, but Word will allow you to make an easy conversion. This will even work in the case of your PDF having an image with text in it if that makes sense. So I've got an example PDF here. Within Word, we're gonna go to our file tab and we're gonna select open. So we'll double click to open. You can see that it is converting it. And just like that, I can go through and edit all of this text and then I can either share it as a PDF again or I can just simply save it as a Word document. All right, for tip number three, we're gonna show you guys how you can utilize formulas all within Word, not having to go back to Excel. So I've got a table down here that we're gonna use for demonstration purposes. And to get to the formulas, we're gonna go to the table tab We'll go down and click on formula. Uh, let's just say I want to add all these numbers together. So I'll start on this little cell right here. Again, that's table, formula, sum above, that's perfect, that's what I want. And we'll press okay. It's gonna make that calculation for me right here. All right, for tip number four, we have sort lists. So I'm gonna select the list of names right here. Let's just say I want to go in alphabetical order. You can also do ascending order. Uh, but anyways, we'll go back to the home tab with our selection made. And then right here, there's a little button for sort. Click on that and then I'm gonna type is text. We'll leave it as ascending and we'll press okay. So as you can see, it is in alphabetical order by name. I could also do the same thing on this side over here and go in ascending numbers. So we'll click that, we'll press okay. And it just sorted it for me again. Now tip number five is gonna be utilizing Word's collaboration. So we no longer have to save a Word document, email it to someone, they edit it, send it back to us, and then we combine both documents. You don't have to do that anymore. It's not nearly as tedious. We can actually work on documents simultaneously with other people. And the way we do that is with this share button in the top right. We can invite people or copy a link. So for example, if I invited somebody and then I check this can edit, so this way they can make edits to the document and press share. So now they have an invitation to come in and edit this document on Word, and that takes all of the headache out of doing this. All right, and the next tip we have for you guys is pinning documents within your file tab. So let me just X out of this, bring up the main menu. So let's say I wanna pin one of these documents so that I can easily find it because I know I'm going back to it constantly. All we have to do is click this little pin icon next to our document that we wanna pin, and just like that, it's pinned, and I can click over to the pin section and find the documents that I have pinned. Now let's say that you wanna have different ways to say a word that might help you better articulate your message. We're gonna highlight the word makes and then we can right click on it and see what kind of synonyms it's gonna give us. Now for the next tip, we're gonna head over to the review tab and all within Word, we can actually translate either sections or the entire document into a different language. So I'm gonna click the button, it says translate and we're gonna go with the section here and I'll just make a little selection of this part. As you can see, this little paragraph here is now translated to Spanish. I can insert this, I can copy it. So very handy little feature there. Now the next tip we have for you guys is table of contents. So we're gonna click over to the references tab. And if I click on table of contents, you can pick a theme and then pop that in there. You can see I've got one right here. And this is gonna automatically create a table of contents. And the only, the only requirement is that each section that you have has one of the default Microsoft Word headings. So just to show you guys, if I highlight this, anything up here is gonna work with the automatic table of contents. 
but if you pick a custom font and style, it's not gonna pick it up. All right, the 10th and final tip that we have for you guys today is citations. So let me just remove the citation that I entered here. And if we click the citations button following a quote, it's gonna automatically create that citation for us. So we can click this little plus button down here at the bottom, which is gonna let us create a new source. Now I already have a source that I wanna use, but you can change this to book, report, website, whatever the case may be. Enter in that basic information, press okay, click your source, double click, and boom, it's gonna add that citation for us. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or video topics that you want us to cover, drop that in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.